Welcome to my video on the importance of having fun in recovery. One of the biggest fears of attempting recovery is based on the fear that will I ever have any more fun? My life will most likely be full of boredom and isolation. This fear will be true if a person does not accept that at first everything in early recovery will be hard due to having to make significant lifestyle changes that are necessary to maintain their recovery. Most people have had fun early on during their using days, but let's be honest, how much fun is it now that their addiction has stripped that away completely for most? In my practice, I often ask the client, when was the last time you had fun? Most reply that it was a long time ago. This tells me that they can add this to their list of reasons that they need to get help because a life without fun is very sad to say the least. It is widely accepted that when someone is in early recovery, fun will be harder to come by, but as they progress in their recovery, it becomes much easier. If they don't work at this, their chances of long-term recovery becomes very limited, to say the least. It is a known fact that when people have more fun, in their recovery, they have a tendency to stay in recovery. I'm going to list some helpful suggestions that can help with learning to have fun again. Number one is laugh. Yes, laugh, because laughter triggers the release of endorphins, the body's natural feel-good chemicals. Endorphins promote an overall sense of well-being and can even relieve stress and anxiety. Learning to laugh in recovery is important indicator that one is progressing in their recovery. Number two, be who you really are. Be authentic. Don't try to be someone that you're really not. There is much pressure on people in early recovery to present themselves in a way that they think others want to see them. Don't be a phony. No one likes those who are phony. Remember, honesty is the key to any recovery. Number three, be willing to go out and mingle with others. Isolation is not recovery. Try new activities such as get a hobby, take a class to learn something new, use support groups to socialize and learn what others are doing in their recovery. AA and A Smart Recovery have many social events. Check out my video on the importance of hobbies. It is an excellent video on ho having hobbies in recovery. Number four, you need to revisit the meaning of fun. In many cases, it is a source of enjoyment, amusement, and or pleasure. In addition, it is usually associated with using. Let's be real here. Using takes up enormous amount of time. In recovery, there is a lot of free time. This is when a person has to plan new substance abuse-free activities and plan healthily, healthy things to do to fill their newfound time. Number five, lastly, you must commit to and truly believe that you need to put yourself in positions to have fun. Asking for help with this is a wise choice because it is proven that those who start to have fun in their early recovery are more likely to stay clean in the future. Here are just some of the activities that people in recovery have gravitated to in their recovery. Classes, jewelry making, Classes and music lessons, learn how to play the guitar and the piano, painting, yoga, cake decorating, martial arts, computer classes, cooking classes, and photography, water fun, such as jet skiing, kayaking, d skin diving and scuba diving, tubing, wind sailing, sea glass collecting. And the last list is overall is mostly incorporating outdoor and indoor activities such as skiing, roller skating, kite flying, snowmobiling, sports, bowling, card playing, bike riding, volleyball, running, flying model airplanes and maybe now add drones, ice skating. So I hope this video was helpful. Thank you for watching my video. Please look for more of my recovery videos and you can visit the website www.drivethrough-therapy.com. Thank you.